Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Daniel. How are you? Hello, Peter. How are you? Nice. Doing great. So tonight is your day off too, right? Today is your day off as well? Yes. Um, tomorrow I will start uh, four days of, of, of work. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow is your first day yeah. of the week. <laughs> yeah. My week is my week will start tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> that's good. Have you rested? Yeah, so so. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Okay. So, yeah. Well, tell because, me, uh, uh huh? Yeah, because we uh, we need to make the uh, house clean the uh, clean the house. <laughs> Yes. yes, it's true. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Clean the house, clean the bathroom, the the, the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. But <Well>, it's nice. <laughs> it's at, at home it's nice for all these activities are nice. That is true. Yeah, you get you get more tired when you are at home. That is true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But 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 is that satis satisfying? It's satisfying. Yeah. Yes. Satisfying. Yes. <laughs> exactly. This is the this is the the this is the better. It's the best. Okay. It's the best. Yeah. Right. It's the best. Yes, it's the best. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You remember that song? The way oh. it, the way it is. Bruce Hornsby. Bruce Hornsby. I need to I need to It's it's a piano. It's a piano song. Mm, and okay. that, that that song happened during the recession, during the years right. of the recession in the United States. And this guy came up with this song talking about the welfare, about people in poverty, doing line to get food. Okay. It was a very good song actually. What is the what is the name? I, I will I, I will search tomorrow. The way it is. The way, the way that's just the way it is. Some things never change. What is the singer? What is Bruce Hornsby? Horns Horns by H O R N S B Y N S B Y Horns by. Yeah, if you okay. go if you go to YouTube, you will find it. I'm sure. Yeah, I I I I I, I just in my remember in my no in my, in my blogs writing in my blogs <laughs> for church tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good.
I knew there was a way. Hold on. I'm just preparing a little presentation for tonight's topic. Just a minute. Oh, it's too small. Okay. Oh, this won't fit. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. So, uh, how many are we by now? We are nine. Everybody say hello. Samantha, Vanessa, Adriana, hello. Jamie, Joelman, Nelson, Carla, hello. Ruth. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Eh, perdón que les hable español, señoras y señores, pero ya estamos grandes, ya son las ocho, hay que estar en la clase, yo sé que probablemente estén trabajando, traten de encender la cámara, por favor, ya no quiero seguir dando la clase sintiendo que estoy hablando solo o que no hay nadie en el salón. This is so weird. How's your health, Nelson? How are you doing with your health? Uh, I feel like I'm bad too. You're still bad. Okay. Is it a, yeah. Did you get a cold? I don't know. My God. Have you gone to the doctor? No, not yet. But I have a, more or less a, a week that I have a headache. But this is only the, the, the half of my. Mm. So sorry to hear that. But well. Don't worry, you will get better. Hello, Vanessa. Okay, let me do the attendance so we can move on and start tonight's topic. Please turn on your camera. Recording in progress. Alexa Lucia Mendez Perez. Ana Elsie Santos Gomez. Uh, uh, this is not you, right? No, teacher, that's not us. <laughs> Sorry. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. But I saw Erika somewhere. Okay, no. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Hector is not here tonight. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. No. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Yep. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Thank you. So tonight, well, who remembers yesterday topic? What did we study last night before the end of the class. Not only, but also. Yeah, we review not only, but also, right? We had some exercises and all that. Actually, I had some exercises here prepared for you so we can warm up. Because tonight we will learn about neither nor other pair conjunctions, neither nor. But first, I have a challenge for you. I need you to work in. Fatima is not here again. I need you to work on these exercises with neither. I'm sorry, with. Uh, not only, but also, and both, and. So I'm going to send you this to your WhatsApp right now. There are not too many. It's just 20 exercises. 
but you need to practice this. I think it's very important. Hold on. There you are. So you have 10 exercises with neither, I'm, I'm sorry, with not only, but also, and 10 exercises with both and. That's the second section, okay? Yeah, boy, mommy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so do you have 20 exercises on your WhatsApp? Let's do them together. I'm gonna split you in two groups, just two groups, okay? So you can all work together. Necesito que trabajen en equipo. Eh, lo que se viene en este módulo y en el siguiente eh, tiene mucho que ver con trabajo en equipo. So let's work together. Okay. Let's go. Jolman, Jamie, let's go. Okay, this is not an example of teamwork. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. mm, you, mm, we have just 10 sentences to exercise? 10 and 10, yes, 10 with... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not only, but also in 10 with both N. Ah, okay, 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 I got it. <laughs> Chair. Nelson? What is the meaning of trees? Trees? Yes. Like the ones on the street? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Trees give us fruits. Trees give us okay. firewood. Three not only give us fruit. Okay, not only give us. Hmm. Mm. Let me check. Mm. I think trees not only give us fruits, but also give Our, us firewood. Uh, I think that we don't have to use the the bird. Uh, I don't know. 
talking and long. Yes, I'm okay. I know. No, okay. I think it is trees. Trees. Not only give us fruit. But also. Not only give us fruit. But yes. also. But also give us. Firework. Give us fire. Because we have to cut up some work. Yes. Because it's the same verb. Mm -hmm. Yes. But so firework. Two. Two. Done. Yeah. Not only smokes, <laughs> but also <laughs> drinks. John not only smokes, yeah. but also <laughs> drinks. Don't be John. Number three. <laughs> Apu is intelligent. Apu is hard work. Apu. Apu not only. First. Um, no. no. Is not only. Yes, I think. Apu is not. Oh. What do you think? Intelligent. But also. Are working. Are working. It's not only intelligent, but also fast. Four. Uh, um, not only has been invited to the party, but also Mary has been invited to the party. Correct. But in these sentences, it's talking about two persons. Two different persons, exactly. Yeah. Not only I'm being invited to the party. But also Mary has been invited to the party. But also Mary Okay, wait, wait. From one from one to ten is not only but also. One to ten. And then one to ten, both N. You need to use both N. Uh-huh. Exactly. We 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 work in the number four of the first ten. Oh, okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, has been invited to the party, Mary. Agnes not only has been invited to the party. Why don't you add not only first? Not only Anne has been invited to the party, but also Mary. I I say I say this. <laughs> I said that. I, say, I think mm -hmm. it's I, only no, no no you said I told you. <laughs> okay. I told you guys. In, 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 all, in, in all the days, um, not only is always first. No, not always. No, no always. Okay. Not always. Just <laughs> listen to yourself. What sounds better? Uh huh. In the oh, okay. sentences, is uh, uh, 
young not only or not only young it smokes but both but i i will say john not only smokes uh -huh. yes but, but drinks and, and apple not only is intelligent but also drinks apple is not only intelligent uh -huh. but also but also hard working uh -huh. okay Nice. And the number okay. four is Ang has been invited to the party. It's no, 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 only, only, no only has been has invited been. to the party. Uh huh. Yep. But also, I, I don't know because. Ahí es donde, a ver, pasemos al español. Si uh -huh. yo digo, Ang no solamente ha sido invitada a la fiesta. Sí. También. El complemento, ah, yo esperaría en español un complemento como, pero además le han pedido que lleve comida. O sea, como ya encontraste. En cambio, si digo, no solamente Anne ha sido invitada a la fiesta, Mary, pero también Mary. Pero además Mary. Uh -huh. Tiene más no, sentido, ¿no? Anne has been invited to the party, but also Mary. Yeah, porque sería redundante decir has been invited to the party again. Right? Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Not only DJ, DJ is a student, but also the friends are both. But also his friends yeah because because uh, his friends are, are also school not only vj is a studying his friends but but also his friends hmm? the teacher the teacher not, not, not only were present Teachers, the teachers, the teachers, not only were present. Yes. Yes. The teachers not only were present at the meeting. Meeting. But also the headmaster. The headmaster. Just not only were present at the meeting, but also the headmaster. Okay. Number eight. She's greedy. It's just this this dishonest. What is greedy? Is I have mm, it's like um avaricious or or selfish. <laughs> Something like that. She is not only yes. She is not only green, but also dishonest. Honest. Dishonest. Okay, number nine. God made great things, God made small things. Good, not only God, not only made great great mm -hmm. but also, but also small, yes. only small, small things, small things, small things, a small thing. Yes. Both. But also small things. 
Okay. And the last one. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She is not only okay. beautiful. She is not but also is intelligent. Is not only beautiful, but also that. Okay. Finish this part. I have a question. Yeah. Please. Uh, maybe I think like uh, Latin American people, but why not start a use not only this number six, for example, not only the moon give us light at night. Mm -hmm. What is the difference if I start because I'm not a, a connect? The, the difference is exactly what you what you're saying. It could be at the beginning, not only the moon the, the, gives us light, but also. The correct form is uh, start form. with the. Mm -hmm. You can use both. Uh -huh. Yes. But also the stars. It's not correct. It start the 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 sentence yeah you can do that you too. Can use both. both you can use both ways both. Yes. Ah, i can use oh okay okay now what sounds better i don't know the moon not only yeah okay. i think so I think and, opinion, nelson nelson in my opinion the fifth one is sounds better the moon not only give us light at night but also the stars Ok, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Y solo se entenderá en español esto, es lo más sencillo. Es la, uh -huh. la, lo mismo que está pensando en español, es lo que dice en inglés. So, con la segunda opción, no, con la primera opción, estoy como haciendo entrever que quiero decir algo más. La luna no solamente uh -huh. nos da luz en la noche, también sirve de tal y tal cosa. O sea, tendría que hablar siempre de la luna, de, de una propiedad de la luna. En cambio, uh -huh. la segunda, no solamente la luna nos da luz en la noche, pero también uh -huh. las estrellas. Eso tiene más sentido, ¿no? Estoy diciendo que no solamente la luna, ajá, y es lo mismo en el español, en el inglés. ¿Ok? Entonces, dependerá del contexto. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? ¿Qué quiero hacer? Yeah. The moon not only gives us light at night, but it looks amazing in the mornings too. Sigo hablando de la luna. Mm -hmm. Right? Y en cambio en la segunda sí agrego algo más. Es como una comparación. Y not only but also no sirve para ambos. Puedo hacer un contraste entre dos cosas o separarlas. Same thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Sure. In this example, we have to use both and, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> She loves pizza, she loves ice cream. She she loves both. No. Yes, she loves both. He loves both. 
pizza and ice cream. Maybe. Yes. Both. 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 Okay. The book is informative, the book is interesting. That book. Mm -hmm. The book. No, the bot book. Oh. I think. Um, I think it's the book. I think it's the both book. Mm -hmm. It's both. I'm not sure. The, the book, book is both. It's both. Both. And the book. Ah, yes. Both. The book is both. Informative. Mm -hmm. Informative. Interesting. 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 No, it's not necessary to use comma. Mm. Like the mm. book. Ah, the book is both comma informative and interesting. No. And interesting. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. I feel smart. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are. Oh, so thank you, teacher. Thank you. The first one, the same. First yes. one? Yes. She loves both. Peace and ice cream. The book is both. And for my interest. Okay. The third one, money is necessary yeah. for human life. Respect is necessary for human life. Money is path. I don't know. Money. It's difficult. Could could it start with both? Mm. Um, both. Both. Money money and respect. Respect. Yes. Mm. Uh, no. 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 Uh, yes. you uh, you're good you're doing good both money and respect mm. and respect. Are, necessary. <laughs> are necessary for human life our human life very good yeah and respect no in right uh, yeah it's both money and respect Life. Pizza. Me, she bought she bought love love pizza and ice cream. She bought love pizza. She loves both. She loves both pizza, pizza and, and ice, cream. ice cream. Very good. She bought Loves pizza and ice cream. The number two teacher, but the book is informative and interesting. The book is both. The book is both. The book is both informative and interesting. Interesting. And interesting. Interesting. Very good. Okay. Money is money both no money is both necessary for human life. But money is necessary for human life 
and and respect is and necessary. Respect. necessary. But but money is necessary for human life and respect. We know what our parents. Think I think, uh, but money is necessary for human life and respect. Respect. It's okay. Money. Or. Or is money is money is both necessary for human life and respect. Mm -hmm. Number five. They both know Money is both necessary for human life and respect. Teacher, we need, we need help. Okay. Both, comma. Uh -huh. What are both? What are we comparing? Both money and respect are necessary for human life. Both money and respect are necessary for human life. Both money and respect are necessary. It's a little bit confused. <clears throat> I think you're you're comparing. Estás comparando dos cosas. ¿Qué, qué dos cosas vas a comparar? Yes, uh, so I think the, 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 it's, it's difficult because we have to create uh, create the, the, the sentence, uh, a new sentence with that, that example. To avoid That's... repeating. Uh, todos esos ejercicios son para evitar repetición en el enunciado. Entonces, si tener repetida la misma cosa en los dos lados, como... you, you find a way to mix them. Tienes que encontrar una forma de mezclarlos. Mm -hmm. Hey, go uh, next. Next, we uh, we both love we, and respect. We both love, we love, we love, and we love both, we both love and respect our parents. That could be an option. We both love and respect our parents. We love both and respect our parents. They both Okay. They, they love each other. They can each other. They, but, they, they, but love and care for each other. And they care each other. They, but love. They about love in they each other and care. No and care for each other. They they but love each and care. Love and care for each other. Love care. Love and care, and care for each other. And uh, 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 can you repeat? They both love and care for each other because in the second part of the sentences they care. Aman, aman y cuidan uno del otro. 
They know. They No. No. Because you can can repeat. Is no, they, no. Both, they both love both love it. and care for each other. Right. They both love and care for each other. They both love and care for each other. What about number six? Samantha, you're so quiet. Number six. Carla is pretty. She's cute too. Carla is both pretty and cute. And cute. You can say too. Carla is both pretty and cute too. Pretty and cute too. Carla. I'm pretty. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carla is both pretty and cute too. Excellent. Number seven, Jack doesn't like eating spinach. Spinach? Spinach. His dad doesn't like it. Hmm. Again, we're comparing two people. Something that two people don't like. Maybe both Jack and his dad they doesn't like eating spinach. Very good. And spinach. That's it. Spinach. Both Jack and his dad don't like eating a spinach. Very good. Number eight. Jenny loves skating. Her brother Jim loves skating too. Both Jenny and her brother Jim love loves skating. Love skating, como ya es they. Yeah. Only love. Uh huh. Just love without loves. Uh huh. And it's, it's not third person anymore now. It's with plural. two or without. Love skating. Hold on, I got lost. Uh, both Jenny and her brother Jim love skating without two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Number nine. We're only missing two and we're done. But I'm not sure. And that may be the flight are both. Long and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Uncom uh, uh. Yeah. Yes, maybe. The flight? R, no, R or is. No, was. 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 Uncomfortable. Wow. Uncomfortable. 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 Uh, uncomfortable. Yay. The flight was both long and com uncomfortable. Comfortable. 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 Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. We finished. <laughs> Yay. Very good. We start. I need some water. Come, I'll be back. Okay, in the in the in the sense in the sentence about not only but also we need to separate it with comma too. That's right. Okay, yes. let's go back. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm.
Okay, that was a simple exercise actually, but you were very focused, I know. So tonight we have to talk about neither nor other pair of pair conjunctions. And this is part of your student's book on page 17, but I would like to present it differently. Hold on. No, it's not going to work. It's too blurry. Okay, so I'm going to present the book. Hold on. Okay, let's talk about the grammar be behind this. And it is very simple. <laughs> if you give an interpretation of this in Spanish, what do you say about the kids that don't want to work, don't want to study? How do you call them in El Salvador? Ninis. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. So that's exactly the meaning of this. Okay. Neither nor. It holds a negative meaning and it signals not one of the two options. None of the two options. So neither the employees nor the manager knew about the new training schedules okay none of them that's another way of saying it none of the managers knew about the new training schedules but again we are contrasting two parts of a sentence the whole point of paired conjunctions is to create contrast or comparison between two parts between two adjectives two nouns two sentences or what is being said about something, two sentences. So the verb which follow two subjects joined by nor must agree with the second subject. In other words, you, you must use the same grammar tense, the same grammar tense. Sometimes you will hear it used in the plural form, though it is not grammatically correct. So for example, neither Fred nor Jack like to attend the coaching sessions. That is grammatically incorrect. Neither Fred nor Jack. So you have to say likes to attend the coaching sessions. Why? You need to follow the um, third person rule in this example, the third person rule with the second character, for example. Neither Fred nor Jack likes to attend the coaching sessions. Does that make sense? Sounds weird, right? I know. I know it sounds weird because you, we are thinking about Fred and Jack. We're thinking about Fred and Jack as, as one, as they, but no, it's not they. We're just saying that they, uh, that he and he, <laughs> he or he, you know, they both don't like doing that. Okay. More examples. So teacher, in yes. this in this case, um, apply to the exercise that we made. No, nope. this is different. This is something else. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Here you're saying no, no, ni ni. Sorry, ni ni. Okay, ni Fred ni Jack, ni a Fred ni a Jack, le gusta atender las sesiones de entrenamiento. That's what you're saying. As simple as that. Look at the next example. Neither knowledge gaps nor trading needs are addressed without a proper action plan. So let me see if I can come up with the other thing here. I don't think you can see this, right? Can you see the screen? No. No, no right? No. Okay. Hold on. Sometimes the zoom controls get on the way. So let's learn how to use this effectively. 
and we will compare it with neither or as well, which is the next topic on grammar. So they have a negative connection. Neither nor expresses a negative connection between two elements, indicating that both are not true or applicable. As we saw in the example, neither Danielle nor I, listen, neither Danielle nor I like dancing. Okay, neither Danielle nor Hector prefers math to English. Teacher. Hey. It's like, it's like say, ni Daniel, ni, ni Pepito. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ni Daniel ni a Pepito le gusta tal cosa. Ok. Ni Daniel ni Pepito hablan inglés. ¿Cómo lo dirías, John? Ni Daniel ni Pepito hablan inglés. Uh, neither, neither Daniel uh, nor Pepito talk English. Speak English. Uh -huh. Speak, speak English. Sounds better. Sounds better. Okay. Exclusionary. It excludes potential options, emphasizing the absence of both choices or our alternatives. So this is just to neglect, to say no, no on both options. Okay, is just denying that something happens in both people, for example. Okay, powerful emphasis. By combining two negative elements, neither nor, creates a strong emphasis on the negation, on the, yeah, the negation. So you're, this is very strong to say that something doesn't happen, okay? Um, we will see some more examples in just a minute. <clears throat> so, as the book says, there has to be a subject verb agreement. Ensure that the verb matches the subject closest to it in both tense and number. So, if we noticed, you have to use the third person singular, right? Add the S or I E S or ES to, to, the, to the verb, okay? Agreeing with the last person, okay? And numbers, it, meaning that if you have a number after that, uh, then you have to agree with the number of people that you're mentioning. That, that's pure logical. And we will see some examples. Maintain consistency in the structure of the sentence to enhance clarity and re re readability. I'm sorry, readability. Readability. I don't like the word. Anyways, placement of neither nor. Position the phrase before the verbs or adjectives that are being negated. That are being neglected, I will have said. Position the phrase before the verbs or adjectives that are being ne ne neglected. I don't like that word. Examples of neither nor in context. Let's see the first example. Neither John nor Maria likes sushi. So they decided to try the new Italian restaurant instead. Same example as we did before. Example number two. I, first person. I can neither confirm nor deny the rumors surrounding the upcoming product launch. I can neither, neither confirm nor deny the rumors surrounding the upcoming product launch. Can somebody translate that sentence? That's very simple. Well, let's go with the first sentence, Danielle. Neither John nor Maria likes sushi, so they decided to try the new Italian restaurant instead. No. Teacher. Yes, Jamie. What is the um, what could be the translation? For example, in the number one. Yeah, that's what we're trying. Uh, Danielle, can you translate the first example? Okay. The first example. Translate. Okay. Ni John. 
mi María les gusta el sushi. Uh -huh. Así que ellos decidieron intentar probar probar el nuevo nuevamente el nuevo restaurante italiano. Ajá. Decidieron, so they decided, decidieron probar el nuevo restaurante. Um, de nuevo, decidieron en su lugar probar el nuevo restaurante italiano. Mi Juan, mi María le gusta el sushi, así que decidieron probar el nuevo restaurante italiano. Ajá, that's right. Mm -hmm. Ni, ni. Ok, example number two, Héctor. I can neither confirm nor deny the rumors surrounding the upcoming product launch. Interesting, teacher, because I, I know I have been first translate and, and next, can I say, uh, make a question? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, no puedo confirmar ni negar los rumores uh, acerca de los productos de los productos acerca de los uh, ajá. Ah, de los productos que vienen los rumores alrededor de alrededor o en, to, en torno perdón en torno a uh, en torno a los productos que vienen en torno al lanzamiento de los productos que vienen correcto uh -huh. de nuevo ni puedo, yo diría, ni puedo confirmar ni negar uh -huh. los rumores okay, alrededor del lanzamiento de los, de los productos que vienen. Los productos que vienen. Aquí, la, my question, teacher, is uh -huh. I can, can neither, neither uh, transform in can not. Is, is the difference, uh, difference, uh, como sería una, una, no es una forma diferente de decirlo, sino que es context. The, the context is different. Honestamente, en este ejemplo, uh -huh. dependerá de la percepción de cada uno. De, 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 ¿Cómo le llamo yo a esto? Eh, el léxico. Eso es el léxico de cada uno. Uh -huh. Ajá. O sea, la interpretación de cada quien, perdón. La interpretación ¿Sí? de cada uno. Por eso, y, y si lo han analizado, y perdón que les hable en español, pero si lo han analizado, no sé si se han puesto a pensar en esto, pero hay alumnos que a veces traducen textual cada palabra y es porque falta eso, falta razonar un poco, darle, analizar la situación, el contexto, como dice Héctor, right? y poder darle otro, 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 Ay, no sé, otra tonalidad, usar otras palabras. Por eso les decía, les he dicho a algunos en la sesión 1 a 1, es importante que usted se hable a sí mismo todos los días, que haga de caso que esté enfrente de un público y empiece a hablar de cualquier tema en español y poco a poco en inglés. Right? So you can generate vocabulary and find synonyms, other ways of saying things. Right? Yeah, because teacher, mm -hmm. in, in my first grade, <laughs> uh, not in the high level like that, Maybe say I cannot confirm or deny mm -hmm. rumors. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think the context is different or is similar, but the fluent and and como diría exquisite la el eh, que tan buen inglés tenga debo de empezar a dejar o a usar esta otra forma de decirlo. I can neither confirm nor deny. Veremos luego que hay otra opción también. Sí, sure. Sí, lo comprendo, Héctor. I cannot confirm nor deny the rumors. Listen, mm -hmm. I can neither, neither confirm nor deny the rumors. I can either confirm uh -huh. or deny the rumors. Y eso ya cambia por completo el significado. I can either. Pero eso es lo, el siguiente tema. Yes. Who made a question, Carla? Who? Teacher, Jamie. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I understand that when you put or you write neither, you uh, return all the sentences in negative. Uh, yes. So we uh, we don't we don't must use not because it's like double negative. It's like excellent, like excellent, Jamie. That's right. If you use not, thank you. You're 
double negating. Yeah, yeah, you're neglecting twice. Sorry. Okay, you're neglecting okay. twice. That's right. Okay, Jamie, help me. The project was neither completed on time nor within budget, causing significant delays and financial implications. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of budget? I forgot it. Presupuesto. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. El proyecto uh, no fue completado en el tiempo. Mm. A tiempo. Ni. Lo, ac de... lo acaba de decir de que no se debe ocupar el no. <ríe> think, think, okay. think, think. Uh -huh. El proyecto. El proyecto. Ni fue completado en el tiempo ni dentro del presupuesto. Excelente. A causa, a ¿Causando? Causa, causando eh, demoras significativas y implicaciones financieras. E implicaciones financieras. Very good. Hey, good job, Jamie. I want okay. to hear you. I want to hear you more often, okay? Okay. Please, please, you, you, you have very good grammar. Okay, comparison with either or. You know what, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip it because it's gonna confuse you, okay? Um, common mistakes with neither nor. Incorrect verb agreement as we saw before, mismatching the verb with the correct subject in terms of tense and number. So remember, the last Noun that you mentioned, the last subject that you mentioned is the one with the major hierarchy. So if the last subject that you mentioned is singular, you respect it as third person, as we saw in the examples. Missing nor after neither. Omitting the second part of the phrase, which results in an incomplete sentence that doesn't make sense. You need to use neither and then nor. Don't keep that in mind. Failure to maintain parallel structure. Um, so when you say neither, and then you say a sentence, then you say nor, and the next sentence doesn't make sense, it, it's logical, right? You can you cannot miss coherence. That, that's what the meaning. The coherence is very important. Um, Neither Hector went to the party, nor Danielle likes sushi. What? No, right? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Neither Hector understood the class, nor Danielle went swimming yesterday. No, right? Okay. So always keep in mind that it needs to make sense. Um. Tips are for using this uh, pair of conjunctions. You need to practice in context. Okay, understand the intended meaning of your sentence and choose the appropriate elements for negation. As we have been studying it, and we're going to do some examples right now. Proofread and revise. Ensure subject verb agreement and parallel structure are accurate, as I'm mentioning, enhancing the clarity of your statement. This is very important to read widely. Expose yourself to various greeting materials to familiarize yourself with the purpose, with the proper usage of neither nor. That's it. What are we gonna do now? We're going to use examples of this, combining the following sentences using neither nor. Let's do the first example here. The first example is, he cannot speak English. He cannot write English. He cannot speak English, he cannot write English. You may type it on the chat if you want. Let's type the answer on the chat. He cannot speak English, he cannot write English.
Okay, let's see. He can neither speak. Oh, I can neither. No, it's he, right? He can neither. I miss. I miss. Yes, I yeah. miss. Oh, that's you. Okay. Okay. He cannot. No. He can neither speak nor write English. That's the right. He can neither speak not write, nor write English. Yeah, because in this case, I'm not, I'm just talking about one person, right? So, when we use can, a model, do we need to use the verb in third person? I don't know. I'm not sure. I was thinking about this. <laughs> no, uh, when you have a model, you need the verb in the base form. Remember, any model, forget about other grammatical rules. You need the verb on the base form when you use a model. I can dance. I will dance. I could dance. He could dance. She could dance. She will dance. Okay. Uh, he cannot. Mm -mm. He can neither speak nor write English. What if I remove can? Can I remove can out of the sentence? How would you do it without can? Easy. This is easy. That's right. How do you do it in English? Hector, Hector, go, go. He neither to speak nor write in English. Third person. Uh, uh, writes, writes in English. Both write. He neither speaks nor writes, writes in English. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You got it, right? Good? Yeah. Okay, let's do the exercises. Uh, take your time. Think about it. Uh, have a discussion with your classmates. No, but here we have to use third person. No, that's a model. I want to hear you like discussing, you know, arguing that, when, that doesn't go that way. Okay, and so on. Okay. So you have the 10 examples, let's do the other nine together, okay? This time we're gonna be in three groups, let's go. Guys, if you don't mind, I'll stand up for a minute, okay? Oh, okay. 
ok? Deci. He neither ate the cake himself. No. He yes. neither. Yes, in my opinion, it's okay. For me, it's he, he neither eat ate the cake nor. Look up. Mm. No. No, no, I I I, I try in, in my mind. Okay. He needed he needed eight. Eight with eight with S. Eight. But is in pass. Yes. Porque eight sería. Is, eight uh -huh. in the past. Ajá, uh -huh, in the past. Es que sería como él ni se comió el cake. Ni dejó que los otros se lo comieran. Sí, pero la oración sería, ni se comió el cake, ni le, ni le dio a los demás. Sí. Así, Así sería. He neither. ate the cake. No, he neither. He neither. Sí, he neither. Hey. The cake himself, nor let others. Nor let others. Uh -huh. He neither he neither dictates himself nor let others. Oh, maybe can be he neither nor nor let others eat the cake. Mm. No, no, verdad. No suena. I I'm thinking, thinking about it. He, he neither ate the cake. himself nor nor let others eat yes you got it yes good job ah uh, yeah that's the way why wow. <laughs> yes because both verbs needs to be in past and let is the past of let so yeah so is he neither ate the cake himself nor uh, let others eat correct oh wow 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 <laughs> i don't know what happened here <laughs> so the 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 first eat is uh, is in past eight and the second is in present eat, eat it uh let's see no, because it's a it's a negative already, right? So he neither ate, uh huh. He neither mm -hmm. ate the cake himself, nor let others eat it. 
let is the very past this on the second sentence nor let are we cool samantha mm. or jamie no jamie so, so. Yes, so, yes i got it you got it okay so he neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it let is the main verb on the second sentence teacher we have to repeat the verb eat yes in this context you do why let others the verb eat we have to repeat yes what if you don't do it let's see he neither ate the cake himself nor let others let others what you could say nor let others do it others do it eat. do it eat it just 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 others eat not others ate eat uh, eat eat others eat uh, neither eat. No, it's just it will miss the context, uh, perder el contexto, if you do it that way. Others see. Mm -hmm. Neither others ate. Yeah, that sounds weird. It's not. You miss the context. Yes. Okay. Next. Okay. But you did it right the first time. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Go with number three. Okay. Um. Neither eat it. Nor slept anything. Two days. She has neither eaten or slept anything in days. Okay. The old woman can neither walk nor talk neither walk neither neither walk nor talk, or nor, nor. Is neither, but is neither beautiful nor intelligent. <laughs> Neither you. Yes. Nor intelligent. 
number seven. In their access, the class no, 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 Yes, I think. He needs advance. The class. The class. The regular. Regular. No. Or regular. the class. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the class regular. No. Regular. Learn. Learn. Learns his lesson. His lesson. He neither attends the class regularly nor learns of the lesson. Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure. He neither attends the class regularly nor learns his lesson. Can you agree? Or not? Yes. Uh, number eight. This book is no. Miss Nathan. Miss Nathan. Miss Nathan. Interesting. Interesting. Nor. Nor useful. Useful. This book is neither interesting nor. Number nine. James did not pass the test. He learned the pass. James neither pass the test. James neither. The test nor Peter. No, creo que I think it's with neither the star, maybe. Neither James and and the Peter. No, neither James nor Peter. Exactly. Neither James nor Peter. Past. 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 Past the test. And that goes in past. Past the uh, test. Uh, mm. 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 Past. Neither James nor Peter. You can use either past with the or P A S T. It's optional. P A S S. S, -S, 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 -S uh -huh. 
P-A-S-T or P-A-S-S-E-D? Así. No, no, no. P-A-S-S. The way you had it. The way you had it before. Uh -huh. Pass the test. It's both. Both. You can use both. Neither James nor Peter passed the test. Okay. And the last one. That's easy. Peter. ¿Cómo se dice este? Past. Past, igual que. Yeah, same. So, how are you doing? Are you ready? No. <laughs> what number? What number are you on? The number five. Number five, the old woman cannot walk, she cannot talk. The old woman can neither walk nor talk. Nor talk. Can neither walk nor talk. Teacher, hey, I have a question. Mm -hmm. We can say it. neither neither old woman works nor talks. Mm -mm. No, because you're not neglecting women. You're neglecting the two actions about one person. So neither, no, no, no. The old woman neither can I'm sorry the old woman can neither can neither talk nor walk the old woman can neither walk nor talk walk nor talk it's like saying she is it's like saying she she can neither she can neither walk nor talk she can neither walk nor talk If you say neither the old woman can talk nor, I'm sorry, can walk nor talk, is incomplete. Ni la mujer vieja puede caminar ni hablar. Mm -hmm. um, we're missing context from a previous conversation, maybe. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am confusing. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yes, because in, maybe in in Spanish, ni camina ni habla. Right. La mujer vieja ni la mujer vieja no puede ni caminar ni hablar. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's not beautiful. She's not intelligent. She is neither beautiful nor intelligent. Nor intelligent. Good job. Number seven. He does not attend the class regularly. He does not learn his lesson either. Simple present. We have to use the neither. Neither nor, exactly. But with does. Nope. Without, without does. Without does, without not. Okay. He neither attend the class for regularly. He neither attends. Mm -hmm. Third person. He neither attend the class for regularly. Mm -hmm. Nor learn his lesson either. Correct. Without the other either. You don't need to repeat it. 
Okay. Okay. Or you just move the position, basically. Right. Oh my god. No. Sorry guys. Somebody's attacking me right now. Okay, the number eight. Eight. Uh -huh. This book is not interesting. It is not useful either. This book is neither interesting nor useful. Simple. Okay, we get we gotta move on. Oh let's go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start answering this so you can compare with what you did. <clears throat> so, he cannot speak English. First thing we have to notice is there is a model here So I don't need to worry about modifying the verb on any other grammar tense, right? Number one, I delete the neglecting part of the sentence. So he can, and then as the grammar for neither nor says, we need to, give me just a second, sorry. So, sorry, so neither nor, neither needs to be before the verb and nor as well. So hmm. he can neither speak English. Now I already said he, so I can remove this. I already said can and not, I don't need this. Okay, so he can neither speak English and the rule says that nor goes before the verb as well. No right English. Uh, do I need to say English again? No, right? Okay. He can either speak English nor write it. Nor write. Mm, that sounds weird, right? He can neither speak English nor write. It's incomplete, right? So what do we do? Here you have two options. He can either speak English nor write it. Para eso están hechos los pronombres objeto. Para reemplazar y no sonar, sonar redundante. So option number one, I can use an object pronoun. Or I can move this over before the object. He can neither speak nor write English. Sounds better, right? Oh, good job, Adriana. Good job. Okay, he did not eat the cake himself. He did not let others eat it. There was a lot of confusion about this one. Number one, it's a simple past. Don't forget it. So I'm gonna remove this auxiliary and the not again and i'm going to move this guy 
into past. What's the past for eat? Eight. Thank eight. you, exactly, eight. So the rule says that neither goes before the verb, neither. He neither ate the cake himself. Let's go with the second sentence. Again, I don't need he because he's already there. I don't need did not, it's the auxiliary. Do I need let? Yes. Yes, right, okay. So nor before the verb, is let already in past or not? It's an irregular verb, so let, 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 okay. Mm, he neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it. Do I need to say eat it or just eat? This was Joelman's question. <laughs> Joelman is right. I mean, do I have to say let others eat or let others eat it? In my opinion, it is eat it. Yeah, right. Sounds better. He neither ate the cake himself nor let others eat it. Okay. You shall not meet him. Again, do I need the should? Yes, I need should. When you have a model, just continue without I mean, after the model, and follow the rule. I don't need the neglecting part. I'm going to add neither here before the verb. You should neither meet him. I already said you, so I don't need you. I already said should, I don't need should. I already said not. Okay, I can say nor before the verb. Talk to him. You should neither meet. Oh, can I hear? Erase one him? Yes. Should I erase this one or this one? The first one. The first one. Very good. Yeah, that makes more sense. You should neither admit nor talk to him. You should neither admit or, nor talk to him. Good job. Let's see. You should neither admit him nor talk to uh, No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Number four. She has not eaten anything in two days. Okay, what do I do? She neither has eaten. Oh, wait. Mm. Do I need the auxiliary here? It's necessary. It is necessary, right? To give. Okay. Yes, yeah. neither. He has neither. Ahora, fíjense que respeto la regla de que el neither y el nor van antes del verbo. Uno y dos, el verbo va a seguir su tiempo gramatical. Y para que eso ocurra con el presente perfecto y el pasado perfecto, okay. voy a necesitar el auxiliar. Makes a lot of sense. She has neither eaten anything. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And now what? In two days. In two days, okay. No, no. sleep. No slept. Uh -huh. Slept either. Uh, no. Slept. Just a slept. Slept. Why, okay, is that it? Todos lo tienen yeah. así. Everybody's. Agree with this? We have different. What do you have, Vanessa? She has neither eaten nor slept anything today. Yes. Nor slept anything in two days. You got it. I, I, I go for this one instead. Thank you. She has neither eaten nor slept anything in two days. That sounds a lot better. It makes more sense. ¿Por qué? Porque el tiempo se aplica al final. That was learned mm -hmm. in basic. Okay. So, the old woman cannot walk. She cannot talk. Follow me. What is the subject here? The old woman. Okay. Do I need cannot? Do I need the model? The model, yes. Okay, do I need not? Not. Okay, thank you. What do I need here? Neither. 
Yeah. The old woman can either walk and now what? Talk. Nor talk. Nor talk. Simple as that. You got it. Number six, Adriana. He, uh, <laughs> this sentence. <laughs> She's neither beautiful nor intelligent. Nor intelligent. Okay. Good job. Okay. Next, he does not attend the class regularly. Uh, Ivan. <clears throat> Ivan. Hello, hello. <laughs> Help me here. Number seven, right? Yep. Uh, no, no. Okay. He, he does neither attend. Mm -hmm. No necesito la auxiliar ni la negativa. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Neither attend the class. Okay, one more thing. One more thing here. It's present simple, right? Yeah. So, third person, Ivan. Ivan. Um, neither. neither um, Let me help you. He neither attends. Attend. Okay. Sorry. So he neither attends the class regularly. Okay. If, Ivan, continue. Uh, nor. Mm -hmm. Nor learn his his lesson. His lessons. Okay. Do I need uh, something else, guys? What am I missing here? The letter S. That's right. Deliver. Present simple, third person. He neither attends the class regularly nor learns his lessons. Teacher, okay. Teacher, yep. Can, can you explain in Spanish uh, the rule? Yeah. Third person, please. Claro que sí. Es tan simple como he, she, it. Modifico el verbo en oraciones afirmativas. Okay. En oraciones afirmativas, pero en esto del per conjunction, de usar neither y nor, nos pide que tengamos congruencia con los verbos, respetando el tiempo gramatical, la modificación de los verbos. Y en presente simple es he, she, it, modifico el verbo, agregándole s, i, e, s o e, s a los verbos. ¿Ok? Tercera persona. Third person, sí. He, she, it. That's right. Maria neither attends the class regularly nor learns his le her lessons. Okay. Bien, bien, bien. Text me, escríbame mañana, Ivan, Ivan, y le puedo enviar algo sobre gramática, okay? Okay, gracias. So, so you can practice, yeah, don't worry. Next, this book is not interesting. It is not useful either. Super rápido. Entonces, el sujeto principal sería this book, este libro. Con el verbo to be es fácil, igual. Ese es mi auxiliar. Y lo tengo que dejar, ¿eh? Porque voy a hablar de adjetivos, ante todo, ahí es donde tengo que dejar el auxiliar. So, this book is, no voy a ocupar not, porque neither significa ni. Entonces, this book is neither. Este libro no, ni es interesante. Ni no. útil. <laughs> Sorry, quería hacer ese ejemplo en español. Okay, so this book is neither interesting nor useful. Este libro es ni interesante ni útil. O oh, este libro no es ni interesante ni útil. Okay. James did not pass the test. So this is future, right? This is future? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, wake up, wake up. Okay, uh huh. Exactly. James neither passed. Lo hacemos, yes. ojo, ojo, lo hacemos británico o lo hacemos americano? 
Repito, lo hacemos. American. American, okay, that's American. American. And this is British. Okay. Past, past. Por si alguien tenía la duda de cuál es la diferencia entre past con ed y past con t. James either passed the test. Okay. Oh, okay. James neither passed the test. What? Nor Peter. Nor Peter. Okay, uh, uh, this is wrong. I'm sorry. This is wrong. Is neither. Aquí tendríamos que iniciar la oración con neither. Neither James nor Peter passed the test. Right? Neither James nor Peter passed the test. ¿Por qué? Estoy ocupando dos sujetos diciendo lo mismo de ambos. So, that's the best way. Neither James nor Peter passed the test. Ya no hablo de, de que ni la situación se dio con fulano ni con fulano, sino que ni fulano ni fulano llevaron a cabo esta, esta acción. Ok, I have to move on. Mike does not play cricket. It's easy. Come on, guys. Mike played. Neither Mike Neither or his brother plays cricket. Oh, right. yes. Same example as before, right? Sorry. Yeah. Neither Mike nor oh wait. Yeah, it's both cricket, right? So yes, okay. Neither Mike nor his brother Okay. Play cricket. Neither Mike nor his brother play cricket. Now, if you see this in Spanish, it sounds like, yep. And the last one, you do you use place or play? Oh, sorry. Neither Mike nor his brother plays cricket. Thank you. Third person. True. Thank you. Okay. I think you like this topic. <laughs> this was very interesting. Let's continue. We only have about six, seven minutes, okay? So if you noticed on page 17, you have other examples. Let's do them together. Frank has not enrolled for the training next week. Karen has not enrolled for the training next week. Uh -huh. Frank nor Karen for the training next week. Okay. You got it. Oh, okay. Okay, number two, he didn't provide a list of trainings. He did not provide any other alternative. Simple past. He neither provided. Mm -hmm. He neither provided. A list mm -hmm. of trainings. At least, nor other alternative. Uh -huh. Other alternative. Exactly. He neither provided a list of trainings nor other alternatives. He neither provided a list of trainings. He neither provided. Yeah, that's it. There's no other way, right? Nor other alternatives. Wait, nor any other alternative. Textually. 
Okay. The employees are not interested in free training. They are not interested in online alternatives. Adriana. The employees are neither interested in free training nor in online alternatives. Oh my God, wait for me. The employees oh, are sorry, neither. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Are neither inter interested interested in free training hmm. mm -hmm. nor in online alternatives. Employees are neither interested in free training nor in online tra Hey, uh, please correct this on your book. This should be on. Oh, no, 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 on online, on, on, no, 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 this is right, I'm sorry. In online alternatives, online. Okay. A lack of professional development programs can help the company grow. A lack of incentives for learning can help the company grow. I'm tired, I'm not going to type all that. <laughs> That's too, much, too many letters. A lack of professional development programs can help. What means a lack? It's like a lot? No. Um, missing something. Empty space. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, when you're missing something, you're in lack of it. For example, I'm in lack of money right now. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I I've been there. Same here. And I actually can just say been there. Been there. It's totally been there. Okay. A lack of professional development programs can help the company grow. So one thing, what is my subject on this sentence? A lack of professional development programs can help the company grow. What is my subject on the first sentence? Professional. Just professional? Professional development programs. Yay, you got it. Todo lo que califica el enunciado es mi sujeto. Para entender esto rápido y mejor, eh, quiero que pienses cómo puedo sustituir, qué es lo que puedo sustituir con un pronombre, con un sujeto pronombre. Entonces, eh, ¿y cómo lo identifico? Bueno, estoy hablando de poder, de Kent. Eso es lo que sigue, ¿no? Sujeto, verbo. Entonces... Todo eso es mi sujeto. A lack of professional development programs. Todo eso lo puedo reemplazar con el sujeto it. Y puedo decir, it can't help the company grow. ¿Oye? Eso es un... Uh, oh, my God. A phrase subject. A noun phrase subject. Uh -huh. Something like that. A phrase subject. Okay. Again, a lack of professional learning program. So it can't help the company grow. Ya identifique el sujeto. Ahora voy a ocupar quien siempre como bien en el ejemplo anterior. Entonces, you know what? It, voy a ocupar it para reemplazar a lack of professional development programs. Okay. Can neither help the company grow. ¿Qué seguiría entonces? Please. North. Hmm. Incentive for learning. Mm. 
I was thinking it could be neither a lack mm -hmm. of professional development program nor a lack of incentives for learning can help the company grow. Neither a lack of professional development nor incentives for learning. That was difficult. Okay. Neither a lack of professional development nor incentives for learning can help the company grow. Think about it. We will continue with this three tomorrow. It's 10 o'clock. And We'll share our thoughts about this exercise. So homework, it's on that page. It's on page 17, exercise six for tomorrow. Oh, come on, I gotta sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm staying tonight with Jamie, Raquel for 10 minutes. Okay. Please. Thank you. Adriana Jose, Serna Duran. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Thank you. Erika Jasmine Martinez Carpio. No, we know. She's not here today. Okay. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Present. Good night, everyone. Good, good night. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Joelman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Nathalie Juarez de Ramirez. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Here, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. Turn on your camera. It's too dark. Uh... I just listening because I am using a old laptop and doesn't have camera. Uh, an integrated <laughs> camera. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get a camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, English or Spanish is up to you. English. Okay. So, I always make three questions on these sessions one on one the first time. The first question is, um, what has been your experience learning English without mentioning academies? Just, you know, how many years you have been trying to learn? Um, what has been the most difficult part? And, and that's the second question. Um, have you identified what's your area of improvement? Is it, is it reading, listening, writing, you know, the grammar? or understanding, speaking, what is it? And the third question is, um, what are you doing other than these two two hours of, of class, are you doing something else to learn? Mm, the first one, I, I've been studying for around 10 years, English. In the, in the uh, in the I don't know how can I say bachillerate. In bachelor. In My bachelor, bachelor I study in English, but mm -hmm. uh, I stop it because I. Wait, I you disrupt. you stopped. Yeah, I disrupt. I didn't the study. Oh, you stopped studying. 
Yes, study English um, because I start to I started. Ah uh, yes, uh, uh, I started uh, to another career, so different, difficult. Started so, another career. Uh -huh. So um, nowadays uh, I I am studying. Um, I am studying. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, I'm studying. I'm studying. Again, I'm studying. I'm studying. Uh, do it with me. I'm, 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 Good. I'm studying. I'm studying. Good. Uh-huh. I'm studying. Again. No, what is uh, I get I got a study in science um, five modules. Five modules, yes. five modules here in mm -hmm. English corporativo. Yes. Oh. Um, this is all. <laughs> that's all. That's it. Th that's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Um, that's it. Um, what so what have been your area you know like you say man i understand it i can write it i know the grammar but speaking <laughs> is what i can i think the there is no the most difficult speaking no. for me the most difficult is listening because when i hear in for example something in english mm -hmm. uh, for example, a movie, a speech, or whatever topic, or for example, a video in YouTube, it's so difficult because the people that usually speak English, mm -hmm. they are speaking fast. And so they link the sounds of the, the words, for example, the Lincoln song. So I I don't know the all the linking song. And mm -hmm. I think it's the most the most difficult. So I this day today. I go today I got the score for IELTS. <clears throat> yes, um but I don't achieve the score that I didn't I, I didn't achieve the score. I didn't. Really? I I, I got a five Point fight. And it was? What was your score, desired score? Uh, five mm, point fifty. No, no, no. That's your score, five point five. Yes, yes. But what was the ne the needed the needed score? Uh, the six six. Six? Yes. <laughs> Really? You were very close. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? What was the, the difficult part? Uh, the the score lower it was the uh, listening. Listening is the was the lowest score. The lowest yes. score. Well, you learned. Yes. Right? <laughs> you learned. It's very important. Bien. El listening está muy atado con, con el um, reading. Um, y básicamente lo que ocurre es que en la medida en la que el cerebro se acopla a los sonidos, uh, más bien, adapte los sonidos a la escritura va a llegar a, a agarrar entendimiento y eso solo se hace uh -huh. callando la boca <ríe> calla boca, uh -huh. calla boca no me acuerdo en qué película sale eso entonces, ¿cómo se hace eso? encontrando textos con audio como el que yo les envié así okay. nada más, así nada más con los ojos, con los ojos cerrados con la boca cerrada <ríe> con la boca cerrada y solo viendo y da, poniéndole de play al audio y siguiendo la lectura con lo que se está escuchando. 
eso va a convencer intuitivamente el cerebro de que lo que está viendo es lo que está escuchando. ¿Tiene sentido? Sí, bastante. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí funciona. Eh, hasta en gente de escasos recursos lo he visto yo, o sea, gente que, que humilde, pues, quiero decir, gente muy humilde, que, que tuvo muy pocos estudios, han logrado como, yo, yo he estado experimentando con eso y sí funciona. Y es eso nada más. El cerebro... Sí. El cerebro es súper, súper um, Acostumbra. poderoso, es poderoso el cerebro. Y uno no sabe la capacidad que tiene hasta que se da cuenta y hace ese tipo de cosas. Te pongo un ejemplo bien burdo, bien, bien extraño. Vas en el bus. Eh, imagínate, vas en el bus y con la vista periférica ves un anuncio de Coca-Cola. No le pusiste atención, pero tú vas viendo hacia adelante. Diez segundos después, más o menos... sentís como tengo sed tú no te diste cuenta pero tu vista periférica sí se dio cuenta como a los 10 segundos más la coca bien heladita entonces todo el mundo y eso, eso es publicidad engañosa, publicidad no sé cómo se llama eso eh, en, eh, disfrazada no sé, está hecha para eso entonces a diario te viven engañando de, de esa manera El cerebro, ¿por, por, ¿por qué ocurre esto? Es porque tu cerebro está poniendo atención a todo, a todo su entorno. Por eso le atraen los colores, los ambientes abiertos. Nos gustan los paisajes, ¿verdad? Cosas así. Por eso, porque le encanta absorber información. No es suficiente. Y por eso vamos al lado contrario. Los TikToks son nocivos para los niños por eso, porque es información, pedazos de información. Entonces, no, ter no termina... el hilo, el cerebro y al final termina con un montón de pedazos que no tienen lógica entre sí entonces darle contexto al cerebro es eso agarrar una historia, una conversación entre dos personas y empezar a repetir a repetirla, a repetirla primero con la boca cerrada y entendí el cerebro dos días y al tercer día va a empezar nunca traducir so, hasta de último, de último hasta que uno pueda pronunciar bien que es lo que yo te recomendaría mucho, Jamie, leerlo y al sentir confianza, grabarlo en el teléfono y de ahí darle play a la, a la, a la página web y al teléfono, uno, dos, tres, ¡puc! y empezar a autocriticarse uno. En la medida en la que tú aprendas a autocriticarte y, y a corregirte de esa manera, uh no vas a necesitar ni profesor. Te lo digo porque esa es la metodología que yo estoy creando y, y me sirvió a mí entendí que de pequeño eso era lo único que hacía, no sé cómo ahí no he llegado, no he llegado a entender cómo es que yo solo me corregí si no existía internet, no existía tanta cosa pero llegué a tener esa capacidad con solo tener vocabulario Mhm. Mm mhm. o sea, no sé mi cerebro quizás absorbió, hubiera sido buen doctor digo yo ahora, me hubiera memorizado los libros <risa> no sé no sé, pero sí, de, de estudiar un poco más eso y cómo funcionamos para, para poder mejorar Me alegra un 5.5 de 6, deseado 6, o sea. Sí, y fue algo que eh, ahorita estoy en mi vida como haciendo tantas cosísimas, porque como mi mami está súper enferma, yo la cuido en las noches, entonces no tuve tiempo de estudiar, realmente no fui como, como, Ok, así sí, como iba. sí. y es un examen, es un formato que tienes que practicar mucho porque son tiempos y cosas así, entonces la experiencia la, la, la El utilizo. TOEIC. No, es el IELTS. Ah, el ISL. Ajá, ISL. Ese no lo he hecho. El TOEIC es muy similar. El TOEIC, creo que la, el puntaje máximo son 600. Y también. Yo me saqué 593 la última vez que lo hice. Ajá, ajá, así era la cosa. Me dieron una, un certificado dorado, que es como el, el, el mejorcito, vea. Ajá, Pero me, a veces me dan ganas de hacer otro, no sé, otro tipo ajá, de examen. sí, Vale la pena. son buenos, Ok. Congratulations. Thank you, Jenny. Hope you have a wonderful night. thank you, good night. night.